guys. Um, my name's Alexis. This is literally like my second makeup video. Makeup video? No, it's my first makeup video. My second video on this YouTube channel. If you watched my other video, it's really cringy. It's really embarrassing, and I'm sorry you had to witness that. But I'm going to be showing you how to do this eye look, and it's um. It's like a sunset eye look and this eye look was inspired by Hailey Morales. I'll link her channel down below. She is really good at makeup and I'm over here not even knowing what I'm doing. So yeah, if you wanna know how to do this makeup, just keep on watching. <laughs> My hair's so fluffy. Anyway, I'm gonna start off with um, the Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. I just liked how it felt on my hand, so I decided to get it. I barely got it yesterday, and I haven't used it. So let's see if I like it. Nothing's coming out. What? <gasps> oh. Okay, so I'm gonna just put a little bit on my fingers. I'm just gonna rub it all over your face. I don't think there's a specific way to put on primer other than just rubbing it on your face. I see people put it on with brushes, and I'm just like, what? So, I'm a be, I'm not a make, like a makeup guru, so I don't put it on with brushes. I put it on with my hands. <laughs> my face feels weird. Okay, okay. And, okay, I have a, a, not a lot of foundations, but I have a couple. Um, I have this Born This Way foundation that is probably not my color. I got it in warm beige and when I looked at the packaging or when I swatched in Sephora um it did look like my color I looked in here and I was like hmm it might be my color then I even put it on my palm and like it kind of does look like my color and when I put it on here that's not my color so I'm gonna be using um this with the Kat Von D Locket. I don't know if this is my color either. I just picked it up and took it because I really didn't want to like, you know, match myself because like I'm dumb. And yeah, it's this one, it's in deep warm. And so I'm gonna just get my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just... <laughs> Can you guys tell how not that, that's not my color? Where, where's the mirror? I'll just get my two face. Everything's two faced, man. I'm going to put the locket foundation on here. That's fucking dark. Now I'm gonna have to return these if I'm not lazy enough. And then I'm gonna put the Born This Way on top of it. And I don't know how I'll mix it. I'm not gonna use my. Eh. To mix it. Oh, that is not my color either. Okay, so I think I just fucked it up even more, but you know what? It's okay. We'll work with this. I'm gonna get like a sponge. That's all the way over there. I'm gonna just use this random sponge that I'm pretty sure I got like a bargain store because I remember the sponge was one like I barely started using makeup, so it's like a couple years old, and I don't even think it's like sanitary to be using on my face right now because I used it so many times. But it's okay. It's just for today. Oh, I should have done my brows first. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm just, I know it's a rule to like. I think it's a rule to like do your brows before you do your makeup. Or like put on foundation. But like you know what today? I'm not gonna do that because I'm a bad bitch. Just kidding. No, no. I literally cry when I see it be. So I'm gonna be using the um, Too Faced Peach Blur to like try and set this foundation. I don't know what this is usually for. I think it's for setting, but like, I don't know how to use it. But we'll see. I'm, I'll just pat it like I know how to use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I, I think this is just to blur lines or pores. I don't know. I don't know how to use makeup, but it's okay. I can't find my other one, but this is a new one. The Too Faced Medium um, Radiant Concealer. And I don't know what happened to my other one. So, and it was already empty, so I decided to buy this one, so. I can't open it. Oh, I think I broke it. 
But look how pretty it looks. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it all right there. I don't know how to use concealer either, so if I'm doing it wrong, don't fucking judge me. Okay. And then oh, it looks so bad. Okay, so Illuminati confirmed. Okay. There you go. That does not look like a fucking triangle. Okay, so now that you're done with that. I'm gonna put it back in the box. I love packaging. Like if you look at all my make like my makeup, it's always in packaging. I don't know. I really like packaging. Like it just makes it look cute. I do not know how to blend. I'm kinda regretting using that primer because I really don't like how mattes look. So yeah. But so we're gonna bake now. Like I know what it means. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get um not you're gonna get um, I have the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral, which is not my color because I couldn't find transparent, so it's like the only thing I can get. Okay, so, yeah, because my mom likes to use it with just the fluff, so I use it like this. And she really likes this powder, so I'm thinking of getting her one. And I'm just freestyling if I have no mirror. Literally looking into the camera. By the way, I'm recording on an iPhone, so. And I think I should use the back camera. The only reason I didn't was because I knew I was gonna do something like this. Freestyle. I don't think this is how you bake. <laughs> it's okay. This is how I bake, okay? I think I'm using way too much powder, but it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. So I don't know how long you're supposed to bake, but like literally, I bake for hours. <laughs> I don't know, I literally don't know how long the actual bake time is, so I wait like 10 minutes. So now we're gonna move on to these. <laughs> these are really sad looking, I'm sorry. So, I know this is weird, but I like to do this first so I can have my brows in place, but I like to add brow gel on first, and this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I was gonna get tinted, but at the same time, like I really didn't like how tinted looked on me. Because like I I had a one, but um, it wasn't the color of my deep brow. So yeah. If you have any brow products that I could use, please comment or something. Cause everything I use is like I, I literally stick to the same thing. So let me just took it. So I'm um, first. I'm gonna use my brow wiz in chocolate. Mm -hmm. I need a mirror for this, so I can't really freehand this, even though I probably would. I'm gonna use my bronzer mirror from Too Faced. Oh my god, I have everything Too Faced me. Okay, so then I'm gonna just... Blend it in the front. Just... Whoop. I have like seven of these, I don't know why. I'm not going with chocolate. But I also need my brush. If I can find that brow you just dip it in and you have an insta brow oh yeah huh? this is actually how you get insta brow gram. Uh, insta br instagram brows i said insta brow gam and then you know you're just gonna Okay, well, there goes 35 bucks. It only took my mom 17 hours to make that. This is another bite. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm just gonna finish my face and then I'll get on with the eye look. So I'm gonna be using this Firma 103. And it's a contour brush I got on like Ipsy when I had Ipsy. <laughs> I don't know how to contour, so. Or bronze. Yes, bronze is not contour. Use an e.l.f. angled brush. It's a defining eye brush, but like I'm not gonna use it for my eye. I'm gonna use it as nose contour and I'm gonna just swirl it around in here. <laughs> and then just, you know, contour your nose. 
and I just go up and down, up and down, and like while I'm kind of got my nose is itchy, and I just do the same side over here. I basically try and blend it while I'm doing this, and I try I go up to my eyebrow, and yeah, just. And that's basically all I do because I don't like like putting it. Oh, shit, oh, I don't like putting. <laughs> Only like putting it on um, like a button nose effect, so and slim down the edges, you know, just to make it look like you have a small nose, but you don't. So basically, lying to everyone that likes you. I'm just kidding. No. Then I just go in with my fingers just to blend it on all, but like the direction it was moving. And yeah, there you go. How to get an instant nose job, or how to lie to everybody you love. God, where is it? Um, I'm stressing out, man. First, I get the wrong shades, and now I can't find it in here. Okay, let's see. Watch oh, your hair. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty Electronic Obsessions. Electric Obsession, not electronic. I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade. It, uh, it doesn't even have a name, it's just yellow shade. And then you're just gonna go into your eye. I did this look yesterday to go to Disneyland. I wouldn't even go to Disneyland, we just went into Sephora. And you're just gonna blend it from the outer corner just out, you know, just buff it out, make sure that yellow shows because that's the whole point of the look. You know, just blend it, girl. Just keep just keep pressing that color in. Pretty good, pretty good. I should have got a setting spray. Oh wait, I have a setting spray. <laughs> And then what you're going to do is you're also going to go back into the palette and you're going to get this orange right here. I would think it would have been better if you went to the Anastasia Renaissance palette and got burnt orange instead of this one. But like whatever. It's whatever. I find it the same thing. I only chose this color because I felt like it would make it a good like impression in this look because it's pretty easy to blend but so is the one in the Anastasia kit so I just feel like I should use that one because this is really bright compared to the yellow oh my god and this elf eye crease brush and I'm gonna go in with um I'm gonna go in with the modern renaissance palette dang I have a lot of palettes anyway I'm gonna go in the, it's abused. I'm gonna go with the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna go in with Love Letter. Oh, and this look was inspired by like Hailey Morales and she's freaking pretty. And if you watch this girl, I love you. Even though I doubt you're gonna watch this because what do you want with me? Anyway, I'm gonna pat that out and then you're just gonna want to put it in the outer corner right here and just blend it in. And you're gonna just blend it in. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you do not have this palette and you do have the How to Beauty Electrics, you could also use this shade right here. I mean, it's the same exact one, but like, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to use Love Letter because it reminded me of what Katie Morales' tutorial on this. Okay, and yeah, just gonna want to bring it like that. And then I'm gonna go back in with the orange color and I'm just gonna, well not orange color, but the orange color brush and I'm just gonna blend it all together. I think that's how you do it, but we can just blend it all together. Now I'm gonna get this random mermaid brush and I'm gonna get concealer. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna use the Born This Way foundation and light beige. This is not my color. And this is like the first Born This Way foundation I had. And I'm going to just dab it in. And I'm going to use this as concealer. I have two Born This Way foundations. So one in the warm beige and the other one in light. Which was my mom's concealer. Or concealer. Concealer. Which is my mom's foundation color. So yeah. And then I'm going to just. Don't cut. The, um, don't cut the crease. But just you know. Put um, foundation on your lid. So. Um. The colors would feel more vibrant. That just looks like crap. 
and like you should take your time on this but as you see i'm not taking my time because i want to go somewhere like on the quicks it's like 12 right now so yeah. i'm just gonna want to go in with the concealer brush which i should have used this instead of that big ass brush but like i didn't and you're gonna want to go in your modern running phone palette and go in with vermeer Ver vermeer vermeer right there and you're gonna put that on the like a quarter of the lid like you're just gonna want to put it in right there and fill it up halfway mm -hmm. okay and then uh, i'll just bring it in a little bit more and i kind of pack on that shade just to make sure that there's no open areas okay and then Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back in with the Huda Beauty um, palette, and I literally have to pick it up with my finger because it's not pigmented. If I try and put it on, <laughs> I'm sorry, my phone rings so much, and it's not really pigmented. If I try and pick it up with the brush, so I literally pick it up with my finger, and I'm gonna go back in with that yellow shade, like there you go, and I'm gonna put it on the middle. Well, I should have just blended it out with my finger. Like that ass, like on the, on the crease of my finger. Okay. And then I'm literally gonna go in the same thing. I mean, like, this is really pigmented on um, brushes, but like, I just don't wanna get on my brushes, so I'll just put it on my finger too. Remember? Mm -hmm. And just put it on the lid. Like, and then um, I'm gonna go in with the same brush that. We used Love Letter and I'm gonna go in with the Modern Renaissance palette, you know, just go back in Love Letter and tap, tap the X off and just bring Love Letter into the outer corner and blend it with the orange. I don't even think the orange blended, so I'm gonna just use the excess to smooth the edges on the sides. Go in with the fluffy brush because like I really don't want to get another brush and just the yellow down there which did not even show up so I'm just gonna put the orange okay and I'm gonna actually try and go in with the yellow okay a little bit came out but it's okay it doesn't even matter I'm using the Stila waterproof all day liquid foundation foundation I mean liquid <laughs> Um, eyeliner. I'm sorry. I'm not all over the place right now. And you're just gonna make a simple line. Or if you don't want to, then you don't have to. Like, you don't have to follow this tutorial. You might just want to know, like, what one color is or something. I don't even know. I don't know why I'm looking in the mirror if I can't see. It's so foggy in my mirror. Mm -hmm. So there is your liner, or my liner, whatever. Here, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Distortion Liner because they didn't have any other ones and it's the only one I had and I really need like a, something, a glitter liner. So I got this one. And I'm not gonna use this mirror. The peach blur mirror is probably already messed up, but I'll just try and clean it later. And so I don't know if you're supposed to shake liner, but <laughs> I am. So you're gonna try and bring it up to the middle. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. And if I mess up, then you mess up the look. Just a little inspiration. Then I'm not gonna open my eye. I'm gonna resist the urge too, so that way I don't mess up the liner because this liner will get everywhere. But it's not dark enough to my liking, so I'm going to try and make it darker. Okay, 
I'm breathing so much, like, it scares me. Well, I don't even think it's dried down yet, but, like, I'm not gonna care, okay? And, yeah. I'm just gonna do my next step. So, what I do is I'm gonna get my mascara and i'm gonna use the bad gal bang mascara and this mascara is honestly my favorite so far i love this mascara with all my heart and i'm gonna just coat my lashes so, this does take a while to dry though but i don't care <laughs> So now I'm gonna go in. This is, I used the Ardell Double Wispies because I just really love how they look. And these are not cut correctly. I cut a little too much off them. But it's okay. You know what? A girl's gonna do what a girl calls a little. Okay, so. I'm also gonna go in with the Duo Brush On Adhesive with vitamins. Don't forget the with vitamins. Layer it onto the lashes because the. And these are my favorite lashes. I will not wear anything else. I would only wear the Ar Ardell Wispies because I know they look good on me. Look at me all sounding all conceited and shit. But like, no. I mean, like, these are the only ones that I feel like look good on me. So, yeah. I'll wait for that to dry. Or not dry, but like, wait for it to get tacky. I wait more than 30 seconds. I don't know why. I'm just done. And I'm going to pick out my highlighters. I have a lot of highlighters, like... I do have a lot of highlighters. I have this one. I have all of the Anastasia highlighters. I have no idea where my that glow one is though. So I have most of all of them. I have gleam and all this and stuff. But I think I'm gonna try this highlighting palette. I haven't tried this one yet. It's from Kat Von D, I think. Yeah, it's from Kat Von D. It's the Alchemist Holographic palette. So I'm gonna go in with pink opal. On my cheekbones or actually hmm no I don't think I'm gonna do pink because it's supposed to be a sunset look and there's no pink in a sunset so I think I'm gonna go in with something silver or white I don't know so I'm gonna go in with the I think this is also Kat Von D <laughs> yeah Kat Von D metal crush palette I'm gonna go in with Helix, but I'm gonna put on my lash first. How my hair! I'm gonna do this eye off camera. I'll be back. I'm going with the middle crush palette, and I'm gonna go in with Helix in the inner corner. And I love this palette, bro. This palette's like 36 bucks though, so. show up but like you know what it's okay the one i really want to use is this one but like that's for another look and then boop, 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 boop. and for lips i'm going to be using the huda beauty lip contour kit in spice girl and venus so it's later in the day and I honestly didn't have time to put on lipstick so this was my look and I curled my hair it looks really bad right now but I curled my hair and I put on my outfit even though the outfit's the same thing and I went shopping and your girl went to Calvin Klein <laughs> okay now we spent like almost $200 in Calvin Klein and like it's basically like four items like literally Calvin Klein, you guys need to down your prices. But yeah. So this is a look. And hope you liked. Um comment, like, 
I don't subscribe. I don't know. It's my first or my second YouTube video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.